Welcome viewers, my name is Mr. Waweru and today we are looking at physics form 4 and our topic of discussion is the electromagnetic spectrum the electromagnetic spectrum now this is one of the most interesting topics uh, in the whole physics syllabus and particularly in form 4 because this topic tries to explain how things work most of the things that uh, we see around us this is a topic that tries to explain how they work just to boggle your mind a little bit uh, my viewer you probably are holding a remote controller and trying to switch channels or you try to switch channels on your TV what do you think is happening between your TV and your remote controller sometimes you warm your food in a microwave oven what makes the food to warm you find that sometimes we watch live events you could be watching live event or live news sometimes cnn all the way from america and maybe you're here in nairobi kenya and you're able to watch probably the president uh making a live speech or maybe most of us who or some of us who watch you know matches um we do live you hear people talking about live matches you're going to watch my favorite match on super sport 3 or 7 or whatever what do you think makes these things possible have you ever wondered about mobile phones you're holding your phone and you're calling a friend of yours who is 500 kilometers away probably you're in Nairobi and you're calling your friend who is in Mombasa and you're doing and making communication how is that possible you have uh, probably a radio you're tuning in to a certain radio station and you hear them talking about 105.6 what is this 105.6 because a certain radio station will probably be airing uh, or transmitting on 105.6 and another one would be 98.5 or 99.0 or whatever else that is these are some of the things that we shall be trying to explain uh, in this topic and before we begin I want us to watch a short clip about the electromagnetic spectrum have a look Something surrounds you, bombards you, some of which you can't see, touch, or even feel. Every day, everywhere you go, it is odorless and tasteless, yet you use it and depend on it every hour of every day. Without it, the world you know could not exist. What is it? Electromagnetic radiation. These waves spread across a spectrum from very short gamma rays to X-rays ultraviolet rays, visible light waves, even longer infrared waves, microwaves, to radio waves which can measure longer than a mountain range. This spectrum is the foundation of the information age and of our modern world. Your radio, remote control, text message, television, microwave oven, even a doctor's x-ray, all depend on waves within the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic waves, or EM waves, are similar to ocean waves in that both are energy waves. They transmit energy. EM waves are produced by the vibration of charged particles and have electrical and magnetic properties. But unlike ocean waves that require water, EM waves travel through the vacuum of space at the constant speed of light. EM waves have crests and troughs like ocean waves. The distance between crests is the wavelength. While some EM wavelengths are very long and are measured in meters, many are tiny and are measured in billionths of a meter, nanometers. The number of these crests that pass a given point within one second is described as the frequency of the wave. One wave, or cycle, per second is called a hertz. Long EM waves, such as radio waves, have the lowest frequency and carry less energy. Adding energy increases the frequency of the wave and makes the wavelength shorter. Gamma rays are the shortest, highest energy waves in the spectrum. So, as you sit watching TV, 
Not only are there visible light waves from the TV striking your eyes, but also radio waves transmitting from a nearby station, and microwaves carrying cell phone calls and text messages, and waves from your neighbor's Wi-Fi, and GPS units in the cars driving by. There is a chaos of waves from all across the spectrum passing through your room right now. Uh, now, you, you might have uh, uh, understood a few things uh, from the clip. And uh, to start us off, I want us to look at the specific objectives uh, of this topic. Now, by the end of this topic, the learner should be able to, number one, describe the complete electromagnetic spectrum. Number two, state the properties of electromagnetic waves. Number three, describe the methods of detecting electromagnetic radiations. Number four, describe the applications of electromagnetic radiations. And number five, solve numerical problems involving C equals F lambda. Now, I want us to make the first definition. We want to define the electromagnetic spectrum. So, what is the electromagnetic spectrum? The electromagnetic spectrum basically is the arrangement of all electromagnetic waves according to frequency and wavelength. Now, uh, in physics, form 2, uh, there's a topic on waves. And uh, we say that waves can be categorized in broadly into two uh, major you know categories uh, we talk about electromagnetic waves and uh, mechanical waves and uh, we said mechanical waves of course do require a material for transmission and we said electromagnetic do not so when you arrange all the electromagnetic waves in terms of frequency so here two things need to be uh you know uh, highlighted uh, we need to underscore two things frequency and uh, we say that frequency in form 2 is the number of complete oscillations per second and uh, we said of course uh, the SI unit is the hertz and then we're talking about wavelength frequency usually represented by small f and then we're talking about wavelength and this wavelength is what we're saying is represented by uh, lambda so it's a greek letter lambda wavelength basically is uh, length uh, so uh, we measure it uh, in units uh, you know meters so we shall be able going forward to describe electromagnetic waves in terms of frequency and wavelength now the electromagnetic spectrum includes Visible light. Visible light is what allows each and every human being to see. Ultraviolet rays, microwaves, X rays, radio waves, and gamma radiations or gamma rays. So we shall be looking at each and every one of these subsequently. So we have made the first definition that electromagnetic spectrum is the arrangement of all electromagnetic waves according to frequency and wavelength all right the electromagnetic spectrum is basically divided into seven major uh, you know bands and uh, i think we have already seen that you can see from uh, the left hand side here i talk about radio microwaves infrared visible light ultraviolet x-rays and gamma so seven major uh, compartments or seven major uh, divisions of uh, electromagnetic uh, spectrum all right i want us next to look at the properties some of the properties of electromagnetic waves number one electromagnetic waves do not require a material medium for propagation that's what i said they can travel uh, through a vacuum the second property, just like other waves, they can undergo reflection, refraction, and diffraction. Third, all 
electromagnetic waves travel at the speed of light now we need to underscore this because this will form uh, a major basis for us answering why we are able to watch live tv it all boggles down all narrows down to this this feature that these waves are all travel at the speed of light and uh, we have seen that the speed of light uh, is actually 3.0 times 10 to power 8 meters per second so what this means is 300 million meters per second 300 million meters per second or if you divide that by a thousand to make kilometers so you can see this means in one second roughly light can circle the earth if for example you are here in kenya and you shine some light and of course that light happens to go around the earth that light can move six to seven times in one second so that means circling so like those people who do uh, you know uh, running uh, you know athletics in, on, a, on a track in one second light can go around the earth close to seven times that's what makes it very very possible for uh, the technologies that I have seen recently that you can talk to somebody who is very 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 far and they are you know getting the feedback almost instantaneously this is because these waves mostly propagate at the speed of light and we have seen that that is tremendous all right then the other thing is that uh, electromagnetic waves do not uh, carry any electric charge so they will not be deflected by both magnetic and uh, electric uh, fields all right the other thing uh, which is important uh, because these waves carry energy uh, the energy they carry is in different amounts uh, and uh, this is usually guided by an equation uh, that E equals HF. Uh, H, uh, this is a very classic uh, equation, the, the classic energy equation uh, which is applied in many areas uh, in physical and engineering. Uh, e is, uh, is energy, H represents uh, what is called the Planck's constant uh, and uh, it's sum of joules per second and uh, its actual value is 6.6, uh, 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 around 6.63 uh, uh, times 10 to the power minus 34 joules second and uh, F uh, of course is the uh, frequency, alright? So you need to take note of some of the things that we are talking about. So the first uh, equation that uh, we need to underscore so that uh, we don't uh, forget these things is that they possess energy according to this equation that E equals HF and uh, we have seen that H is the Planck's constant and F is the frequency. The other thing is that they obey the general uh, wave equation and uh, the general wave equation is that V equals F lambda v is velocity f is frequency and uh, uh this is lambda so this is uh, again like i said is the greek letter so the greek letter again has many many letters which uh, you may not be well versed with um, you've probably heard a few of them let me just mention a few uh, we talk about alpha you've heard of course about alpha and omega actually those are two greek letters so alpha is like a then we have others we talk about beta we talk about gamma there are many others in uh, in between we talk about pi there is pi and uh, theta so we have theta we have pi we have sigma we have psi we have a micron we have iota we have so many other letters in between and of course we have uh, omega being um, the last one so this one is lambda so it's in the greek alphabet all right now the next thing i just want us to use these two equations um to do a few examples example number one A VHF, very high frequency radio transmitter, broadcasts radio waves at a frequency of 30 megahertz. Now, you've heard, uh, I, 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 I said something about radio, that some 
radio stations transmit at uh, 106.7 for example and then you hear uh, we talk about uh, megahertz so this is actually the frequency so when you say for example that radio citizen transmits at 106.7 in nairobi and it is uh, its environs we mean that in every second radio citizen is transmitting data at a rate of 106 million seven hundred thousand okay let me get this clear 106 million seven hundred thousand that's like the cycles the, the, the rate of vibration remember you said that uh, electromagnetic waves they, they refer to vibrations uh, in, uh, you know oscillating um, uh, electric and mag electric uh, field and magnetic fields as well so that is the frequency how fast it's changing the magnetic and the electric fields per second so you can see this is a gigantous it's a, it's a tremendous a humongous number it's a colossal number so we talk about this uh so when you told that that radio is transmitting uh so let's go get back to our example so we're saying that our vhf uh, radio transmitter broadcasts um, at a frequency of so here we given the frequency the frequency is 30 uh, 30 megahertz so it's broadcasting at uh, 30 megahertz so you, you asked uh, what is the wavelength so remember here we're given frequency and we've just come from saying that waves um, electromagnetic waves are guided by the following equation that V equals f lambda velocity equals frequency times lambda and the other thing that you have said is that they travel at the speed of light now the speed of light v which is usually denoted by c uh is just like you have seen 3.0 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second so that is now our v in this case so since we have v and we have f we can be able to find lambda so let's just uh, make lambda the uh, the subject of the equation now uh, the formula that is so we shall just realize that v over f will give you lambda so lambda is v over f all right so we have seen that lambda equals v over f now we have v v is 3.0 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second so let's write that in terms of millions so that is like 300 million all right meters per second over we have f f is 30 megahertz mega means million so it's 30 million has or cycles per second so if you do that right you'll get the how many zeros will uh of course up there we have one two three four five six seven eight down here you have one two three four five six seven so we shall be left with one so we shall end up with by three one by three ten so we shall end up with 10 meters so now let's look at example number two calculate the frequency of a radio wave of wavelength 150 meters so we are given a few things here we have the wavelength remember here you told calculate the frequency of radio wave of wavelength so this time round we are given the wavelength as one 150 meters but we are not given the frequency now we've just come from saying that v equals f lambda so we don't have f so therefore 
f you have to divide both sides by lambda is v over lambda v over lambda now f therefore will be v speed of light you've already seen that that is 3.0 times 10 to power 8 or 300 million meters per second uh, over lambda is 150 meters all right so how do you find the frequency we shall divide so one zero cancel that by 15 one by 15 two so we shall have two followed by one two three four five six and because it's frequency we are talking about has and uh, if you look carefully you can see this is two million is mega so it's two mega has so the frequency there is two mega has that marks the end of our lesson today thank you very much uh, for being a keen student a keen viewer and listener for that matter and next time we shall be looking at production and detection of electromagnetic waves